Hi everyone. So in this video, we're going to learn how we can work with some text functions in Excel. Let's say we want to find a new price after a 15% increment of this store. So that is very easy to do. We can simply calculate our prices here. But then you'll see that we have a problem with our data because it's, it needs some cleaning. Before everything else, we need to do that, some data cleaning. But before we can do that, let's see the problem that we have. So to find 15% increment on these prices, we are simply going to say equals, then we get this cell multiplied by 15%, which is 1.15, and click enter. So you can see that we have this error. And what is the problem with this? It's saying the value used in this formula is a wrong data type. So why is this a wrong data type? Well, number one, you can see that this is there's a, uh, a comma here instead of a point, and that's where our first problem is. And number two is that this is a text and it's not a number. See, the, uh, the, in Excel, the standard is that when it's a number, it's going to align to the right, and when it's a uh, a text is going to align to the left. For example, I can just put some random number here, and when I press enter, you can see it aligns to the it aligns to the right. But this one aligns to the left, meaning we have a problem. This is not a number. So the first step will be to turn this into a number. But before we can even turn it into a number, we have to remove this point and make uh, remove this comma and make it a point. So that, that's how we are going to clean up our data. Our data cleaning will start by uh, replacing this comma with a point. So if you want, you can just go on each value, remove the comma, you go on this one. But the, if you have a lot of values, this is going to take you a lot of time. And that's not what we'd like to do. What we'd like to do is Excel should do this for us. So to be able to do this, Let's do it in here using a text function. So I'll just say turn this comma into this point. That's what we're going to do. So how do we do that? To we'll say equals, well, there's a text function called substitute, substitute. Okay, so this one there. So it has a lot of arguments, but the first one we're going to put is the value that we want to change, which is this one separated by comma what do we want to change we want to remove the comma so in quotation mark i'll put the comma that we want to remove and what do we want what do we want to replace it with we want to replace it with a point so in quotation mark i'll put a point cross the quotation mark and cross this function like that when i press enter you can see that this has changed from a comma into a point so i can just drag this down you see that it for all the values, see, that is what happens. But then if you can see in the first uh, in the introduction, I said numbers align to the right and text align to the left. This shows us that this is still text because it has a, it's, it's aligning to the left. So let's turn this text into a number. And we can do that by saying in this column so that we're able to see it properly. We can say 10 text to number okay so we're going to use another text function and this one is called um it's called value so if i say equals value then you put in the brackets here whatsoever you want to change so this one in this case cross the brackets enter and you can see now it aligns to the right so I'll just do this one drag it down there and it happens for all of the values. Now, this is a value we can work with. It's the number. We can do multiplication, addition, and everything we want to do, and it will work just fine. But before we continue, I also want to show you that these two processes can be done uh, in one box. You don't have to separate them like we have done here. So I'll just delete everything here and just do it from here. Okay, I'll not give it a title. So we can say equals value so remember this value will turn our function uh, into a number so we we'll have substitute inside substitute inside so again we'll do the same thing we want to change 
this one want to depress the comma substitute the comma with a point with a point like that then cross this one again cross because we have two brackets here the first one and this second one when I press enter okay let me see I think I've did not type something correct here. okay so I need a comma here and another quotation okay okay so now you can see that the entire thing has just been done in one step so now that we have the value and we have our function we can come to this one and do our calculations direct in this cell so we can say equals value open then again we're substituting so it's this cell once more want to replace a comma with a point like that so this function that we have written here a combination of the value and substitute function will just change this into a number but we want to calculate this value we want to uh, calculate the new price by adding 15 percent so we're going to multiply this value by 1.15 press enter then we have our new our new price like that so we can just drag this down and there we go this is our new price so if you you don't see dollars uh, on your price you can just simply go to the home tab on the currency drop down then choose any currency you want it may be pound it may be whatsoever currency you want so that's how you can use the text functions the value uh, function and the substitute functions to clean up your data so i'll leave this file in the description box below i will leave a link so that you can download this file and manipulate it as you want work with it and then whatsoever you can learn so thank you so much for watching. If you like such videos, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one.